Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM as we continue tonight's James Bond mini marathon, part of our month long tribute to 100 years of United Artists. We just presented the first and only James Bond movie starring George Lazenby on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Coming up, the next picture in the franchise, the movie that marked Sean Connery's return to playing James Bond. From United Artists in 1971, Diamonds Are Forever. So, after You Only Live Twice from 1967, the fifth movie in the series, Sean Connery walked away from 007, eager to expand himself as an actor to avoid being typecast in Bond-type roles. Producers Albert Cubby Broccoli and Harry Saltzman then cast George Lazenby, an Australian male model, as 007 in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. The film is now widely considered one of the best Bond films, but it did poorly at the time, and Lazenby was not grateful. Though he was clearly arrogant, he also clearly resented the producer's refusal to consider his ideas. They saw the Bond movies as theirs. The conflict was genuine, and for the second time in just a few years, the actor quit playing James Bond. George Lazenby simply walked away. With the job open again, the producers convinced Connery to return to the role that made him famous, lured by an enormous offer at the time, $1.4 million. To bolster the movie's appeal to American viewers, most of this story is set in Las Vegas. The plot involves diamond smuggling, and eventually the trail leads to Bond's most frequent nemesis, Ernst Stavro Blofeld, head of the evil conglomerate Spectre, which stands for Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, and Extortion. Rolls right off the tongue. Blofeld had been on Her Majesty's Most Wanted list ever since the second picture from Russia with Love from 1963, when he was known as number one. In this, his fifth appearance in the franchise, he is played by Charles Gray. But throughout the series, Blofeld has been played by as many different actors as James Bond. That's actually a complicated equation. More about it after the movie. From 1971, with a script co-written by my cousin, Tom Mankiewicz, who had a hand in five Bond movies, three of them credited, also with Jill St. John, Jimmy Dean, and Bruce Cabot, Diamonds Are Forever. Ernst Stavros Blofeld has appeared in seven of the 24 movies in the official James Bond franchise and one unofficial Bond movie that is still really a Bond movie, Never Say Never Again. He's been played by seven different actors, including Charles Gray in Diamonds Are Forever, plus Telly Savalas, Max von Sydow, Donald Pleasance, and most recently, Christoph Waltz in the 2015 installment, Spectre. In three of the films, including his first two appearances in From Russia With Love and in Thunderball, you don't see his face, only his hands stroking his now equally famous white cat. He also goes by a different name in those first two movies, number one. Blofeld and his feline companion inspired Mike Myers to create a rather brilliant send-up of the character, Dr. Evil, for his Austin Powers trilogy. Myers even gave a nod to Spectre's title hierarchy that was established in From Russia With Love by designating Dr. Evil's second-in-command number two, played by both Robert Wagner and Rob Lowe in those Austin Powers movies. Up next, the first movie in the 007 series with Roger Moore as James Bond, with a theme song by Paul and Linda McCartney. 